You too. What up, man? What is going on? What is going on? No! Kill my nookie! YouTube, what is up? Another video. Once again, I already recorded the whole video and my dumb ass mic is not working. I already recorded the whole video. Now I have to record the whole thing again. So hopefully I'll be just as enthusiastic as I was in the last one. Anyways, glad to be back again. Thank you for joining me again. I have a couple topics I want to talk to you about today. In the video you just seen before, me and my buddies been messing around, had a good weekend, and uh, well, funny story. We went we went to downtown Charlotte, uh, pretty fun down there for St. Patrick's Day. We went to Top Golf, and at Top Golf, my buddy Corey, the one you see in that video, he was golfing. He turns around, he goes, Matthew, watch this. This guy lets go of the golf club as he's swinging, hits the top of the. Hits the top of like the, the roof, dust falls everywhere and it comes back and the golf club hits some dude in the back of the head. Oh, I feel bad for the guy, but it was hilarious. I was crying laughing. Anyways, pretty good weekend. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, got some topics I wanted to talk about. Distractions. Another thing about distractions, I already made a video about distractions um, with phones. Real talk, boys, all you boys out there. Girls are distractions. That's just it. That's facts. Women are distractions. I mean, it sucks to say it. I mean, we need women in our life, but a lot of times they will steer you away from your goal. You won't be able to focus on your goal because you're too focused on women and being with them and getting this and getting that. And sometimes you just gotta, sometimes, man, you just gotta kick them away because at the end of the day, they will distract you. They will take your attention away from your goal. And I understand like later on in life when you already have met your goals and you've done everything right and you're already living your dream, get a woman settled down, that's different, right? But right now, brother, I'm not saying you can't have a girlfriend. I'm not saying you can't do this, you can't do that. But sometimes, man, you just gotta, you just gotta understand that life isn't all about girls. Some people need to hear that. And I'm not saying myself sometimes, I struggle with that but at part as a boy as being a human nature boy it's hard but gross distractions bro another topic this world is full of hate like i've said before people will take advantage of you i had that problem when i was young um i was a little bitch let people take advantage of me all the time let people run all over me say what they want to me and now man i just it's just like being same thing with my disrespectful aspect you gotta stay in your business. You gotta stay in your ground, man. You you gotta stop letting people take advantage of you because that will be the death of you. You know, it'll put you down, uh, not let you reach your full potential because we just gotta you just gotta stand. You gotta stand on business for real. You gotta tell them, hey, look, I'm my own self. Yeah. Another topic. Uh, sorry, this went kind of over the place. I'm just so aggravated. Cause I already said all this shit, and I'm about to re-say it, bro. Another topic. I've, I've been seeing on TikTok, I've been seeing recently, I don't know what y'all call it, whatever, glazing or de-riding. I've seen that happen a lot. I don't understand. Everything is considered de-riding these days. Like, if I just want to support my friends or family or a creator I like or NFL or NBA star or whatever, if I post them a lot, if I talk about them a lot, people are like, oh, you de-riding, de-riding. No, man, I'm just trying to support and love someone that influences me you know i hate that aspect like people aren't as hype about things anymore because they're they're afraid of getting called d-riding people are gonna down you for that and it sucks that people down you for that but it is it, it's so hard to just like somebody these days bro to support someone without people making fun of you for it another thing making fun of you for it tiktok i've seen a lot of things 
people are always going to put you down no matter what you do no matter what your goal is because I've, I've noticed like on TikTok 95% of the videos you can have a video of someone practicing a sport or practicing something or doing something they love and 95% of the time the comments will be negative they'll be saying you suck don't do this don't do that and I hate that because it's so hard to just do your own thing without people being mad and getting aggravated and telling you you suck and do this do that you just gotta block all that shit out because at the end of the day is you versus you you can't be worried about that. You can't be worried about other people thinking you. You just gotta do your own thing. Keep your eye on the prize, right? You gotta keep your eye on the prize. Do your own thing. Um, I just shit myself because because if you don't, it'll bring out anger, right? And anger that's another like way of like saying a distraction. Anger will make you choose. Will make you do things. Will make you will make you make decisions that you will regret, right? Um. Example, I have this truck that's given me so many problems, spent so much money on it. And every single time a new problem comes up, I get mad and angry. And before, like, I, I was, this part I had to buy was really expensive. And I got mad when I figured it out. I was in the truck. I punched the hell out of the mirror and threw it on the highway. It's kind of funny. Now I think about it. But the time, it was, I was mad, punched the mirror. It's gone. Uh, I was in the highway, uh, and then I figured out it was like a $650 mirror, you know, and then I regret like being angry, getting mad, doing that, because that's something else I have to uh, get done now, and it's like, why would I do that, you know, um, and anger will make you make, same thing as like, someone's making you mad, man, fighting, if you got to fight somebody, man, you can stay on business, whatever, do your thing, but make sure you know that the con, even if you win or lose a fight, there will always be consequences, bro. Just someone else is going to be after you. People aren't going to support you. Whatever. It's just like bad things come out of your mouth and bad actions happen when you get mad. And it sucks to say that because being angry is such a human thing to do. But sometimes, bro, you just got to chill out. Take a deep breath. Go smoke your cigarette. Do what you got to do. And life will be good, you know. Don't be so angry. It sucks that I have to talk about that. It sucks how up this world is this world is so fucked up everything's so expensive people are so such assholes bro you're really all alone at the end of the day at the end of the day brother man everyone's gonna leave eventually significant other i mean i have friends um as you get older your friend group will get smaller that's just facts right people just do their own things and it sucks things with like significant others with women they're all gonna leave eventually bro man to man bro i mean unless you find you know for a fact you found the one they're all going to leave eventually. And it sucks to say that, but it's the truth, you know. I just, I believe that um, people leaving is a part of life. And it's scary. That's why I think you, you got to quit getting so attached. I have that problem myself, getting so attached to people just for them to leave. Um, it happens. Attachment is a big part of loving and finding new people and even friends, whatever. Friends will, people will, people will stab you in your back, do shit behind your back, and you won't ever know. That's why you always got to keep your guard up. That's why I don't, like, unless I've been close to you for years and years, I don't open up to nobody like that. A lot of people don't know a lot about me because I just, I'm afraid, bro. Like, real shit. I mean, we all scared, but I'm afraid of just letting, putting my all into somebody, you know, just for them to leave. And, I mean, it happens. And I've, I've been a dickhead enough to do that to people, and I, I regret it, you know. But you just, you got to keep your guard up can't let people know real have sometimes i mean you got to be yourself but to an extent sometimes you just got to say you know what like you're not going to figure me out you know because people will, will 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 find your flaws find things that are wrong about you you do one thing wrong or they find someone else find something different that they like more entertaining they'll take that shit and flip it on you make you feel better about yourself and you just got to wipe it off and say you know what i'm getting on my day i'm going to the next day that's what you got to do sometimes sometimes you just got to Get on and do your thing. Get on with your life. Get on with your day. Keep on going. It sucks to say that, but it's the truth, man. It's all the truth. But yeah, keep your head up. Women are distractions. Real shit. Don't let them do that. Don't let people stab you in your back, bro. Don't let people stab you in your back. Keep your guard up. Don't trust nobody. You can't trust nobody in this world. Being honest, can't trust nobody. Thanks for watching.
Soon that bitch get smashed, I'm gon' roll some gas up uh, Now I'm in my bed, the same one you passed up The same one you doubted I'm like, fuck all that bitch talking, bitch, you bout in my nigga